I'm sure you won't find enough videos out there that truly do justice to the sheer beauty of Vigo and the countless reasons why it's an absolute must visit. I mean, seriously, it's like stumbling upon these hidden gems that make you want to keep them all to yourself, but at the same time you're bursting with excitement to spill the beans to the world. Cause hey, places like Vigo are just too incredible to be kept a secret. So get ready to be captivated as we dive into this enchanting destination. Let's talk about Vigo's location. Situated on Spain's northwest coast, Vigo finds its home in the picturesque region of Galicia. Because it's on the coast, Vigo offers breathtaking landscapes. The climate in Vigo is mild with warm summers and mild winters, perfect for enjoying the outdoors the whole year. They do have a lot of rainfall, which fortunately blesses the region with lush greenery. To get there, we traveled by train from Madrid. Okay, we just got to Vigo and we're in the end of June, so almost July, and it's so fresh. The weather feels really fresh, so we're happy because Madrid is on fire right now. It feels like it's on Okay, ready for the first impressions? Let's see. Nice, 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 nice. I like that colorful building. And so far, this is it. That's and the one it's you fresh. Like? Yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because it says it's sunny and it feels sunny, but the sky, it's, it's still kind of white. Like, there's no blue, blue skies here. I think that's the thing with this area, right? It's never blue, blue, blue skies. It's more like white skies. Where to stay? We are going to be staying in the NH Hotel. I'll tell you all about it. I think it's going to be a good hotel. I have my hopes high and I just, I just, I, I can see the ocean from here. Yay! We're so close to the ocean, that's really cool. We stayed at the NH Hotel, which I believe has an amazing location. It's just a six minute walk from the train station, maybe six minutes to the ocean, 12 minutes to the Casco Historico, and there are high rated restaurants all around this area. I'm going to tell you about my favorite places to eat nearby. But let me tell you a little bit more about the hotel. Since we have a baby, things are already messy around here and we just got to the room Two minutes ago but I wanted to show you the room because I think it's nice here we have you know a shower cap and there was a little towel there that we're now using to do baby stuff and they have all the things you want to see in a bathroom nice shower uh, closets oh and then God. oh no I got majorly pooped on oh my goodness oh how my the hell goodness. did it come out this is terrible. Okay, guys. Well, the room, the room is nice, and they gave us a crib. Let's go. He's ready to go. <laughs> but as I was saying, we requested a little crib, and they gave it to us, which is really nice. And yeah, we ha oh, we have a little balcony too. We did have a problem with our first room, but the staff was exceptional. They changed our room the next morning, gave us cookies as an apology, and even gave Nick a present for his birthday. So, A plus to this place. Things to do. The most important landmarks and things to do in Vigo include the Castello Castro, the Casco Velo, Mercado da Petra, Plaza de Compostela, Con Catedral, the Marina, the beaches, particularly Samuel Beach, some museums, and the sea islands, not sure how to pronounce that, but they're beautiful. Since we had a two month old with us, of course we had limitations visiting all of these places in two days, but I think we did enough and we had so much fun. So I am going to share my itinerary with you. Day one. After doing your check-in in the hotel, head to the marina on Avenue Beira Mar. This was one of my favorite places in Vigo because it has an amazing view of the ocean and the mountains, statues everywhere, green areas all around, and cool bars. 
Our favorite spot here was Varadero. The owner is an Argentinian man who took care of us and gave us amazing recommendations around the city. The service and margaritas here are top. We came back a second time. After a drink or two, head to Gascovello. Get ready because getting there requires a small workout. We walked uphill and found this super cute little town that gives you England vibes. We loved it. There are plenty of places to drink, shop and eat around here. They also have live music in every corner. The views are beautiful and the weather is fresh and surprisingly amazing despite being late June. That's a super plus. We took our time in the Centro Historico, absorbing all of the energy, the ocean breeze, the people. And about the people, everyone in Vigo was super friendly, helpful and sweet. People in the service industry seemed to have a light energy, but at the same time they seemed efficient and focused. We met some people from Vigo, some people from Spain, but surprisingly a lot of Venezuelans and Argentinians. Interesting, right? Anyways, going back to our adventures, we walked to the Principe Street, which pretty much is their shopping street. It is very clean and nice, and we took this route back to the hotel for a little break before dinner. We are at this restaurant called Pollas Novas. It has very high ratings in Google reviews, so we're gonna try it to see if that's true. Apparently, two brothers opened this place in 1994 hoping to provide excellent food at a good price. Their menu is small and to the point, but everything they make here is made with dedication. We ordered pulpo a la gallega, and by accident, I recorded my live expression after eating the pulpo in slow motion and I guess here it is, you can watch it. <laughs> I paired it with Albariño, which is the most important white grape variety in Galicia. I mean, it has a lot of body and... Is it earthy? Are there aromas? Aromas like grapes and <laughs> uh, wine does come from grapes. I mean, like you can really smell it, and it's it's good. It's just strong. It's strong. For dinner, we shared a seafood rice, and it was also very, very delicious. All of the ingredients were fresh, made in the moment, al dente, and just perfectly made with love. The service was also great. We are so glad we came. To end the night, we just strolled around the city with our stroller and our baby. We pinpointed places we wanted to visit and we enjoyed the sunset. This city looks like Paris sometimes. Look at these buildings. Yes, we said it. You said it. The city, no, that built that no, building. No, okay, some buildings look like Paris. Some buildings. I was saying, I really like the views in the city. Like, you know, I was walking this way and then I look behind me and we have the mountains and houses and then in the corner and we have a cool bar and then over there, you have my husband with my baby. Just kidding. The beach is on that side and there are a lot of dogs. We see a lot of big dogs. <laughs> we see a lot of big dogs and we don't have to go over there with our baby. But I don't know, it's kind of, everywhere you go. We started our day with a digital nomad style morning brunch. We found this cafe where you can bring your computers and hang out for hours. But first, coffee. And let me tell you, they have amazing coffee. We had four coffees 
Nick had two bagels, two juices, I had a sandwich and two waters and we spent 40 euros. The value for the price is just wonderful. We had a good time here working and eating while the baby took his morning nap. I super recommend this place and you can tell something is good and well ran when the owners are taking care of the place themselves. Good job guys! From here, we took a taxi to Samil Beach and oh my god, you guys. This has to be one of the most beautiful and cool city beaches I've been to. The taxi left us in the middle of Beach Samil and we're going to choose in which direction we want to go, either left where there are a bunch of restaurants or right where they only have a chiringuito, which is a little restaurant and views and whatever. It is a windy and kind of cloudy day today and you can feel the warmth of the sun a little bit. So it's a good combination and definitely you can hear the waves, which I love. Do you guys wanna see? The water looks so clean, blue and clear, although extremely cold. There are public pools for kids free of cost along the beach. Little food trucks for snacks and beverages. Everything is blue, green, white, clean, beautiful and so pleasant. Look how cool. There is a basketball court and there is a swimming pool for kids. So let's say that the ocean is too cold for your kid. It doesn't matter, you can bring them to the pool, the swimming pool, and then go back to the sand and enjoy the sun. So that's really smart. And what else? A lot of places to sit on the grass. They don't have umbrellas or chairs on the beach, but we think it's because it's not, there's, yeah, the sun is not strong enough for them. It's just not great for tourists. But you make it work, you know? Yeah, you can sit here instead of... <laughs> Nick is saying you can come sit here and read a book and do things and he wants me to tell you guys, so I'm telling you. Hmm. Cute, cute place. On top of all that, from here you get the view of the sea islands, which are a total gem. We chose not to go because we didn't want to expose our baby to so much heat but the locals said it's a must do. If you have been, what did you think? Should I go back? The downside of this area is that there aren't good restaurants around here. So after we enjoyed the beach, we left. Be aware of that. The beach life. You like it baby? Well, we were super energized and happy after our beach visit. So we headed to the hotel to feed and change our baby and then headed to another adventure, the hike of Castello Castro, which is a spectacular hilltop fortress in Vigo. We're doing our first official hike with Troy. And we also had our first beach day with Troy. So a lot of first time things today. And yeah, let's see what we find up there. Spain built it in 1665 during the Portuguese Restoration War in order to protect the city from the continuous raids by the British Royal Navy. Today, this is one of the favorite sites for people to take a walk in Vigo because of its beautiful gardens, art, open spaces and especially the stunning views of the landscape of Vigo. The hike is very easy since there are stairs guiding you to the top. They even have a portion of electric stairs that take you up the hill. But then you do have to walk a lot of them, so be aware. Oh god, I'm running up the stairs because I want to get a workout. But I wanted to mention that after every set of stairs, there's a little reward of something, of something cool. First a cross, then mirado, mirador, and then this other mirador with the decorations. And I think the fortress is up there. And there's also like other 
paths around everything that I don't know where they take you, but it looks cool too. I'm gonna keep going. Anyways, we saw many families with babies. The pitfall is that you can't bring a stroller because of the stairs. So we had to use a baby carrier to bring Troy, which worked perfectly fine. And it was all perfect. It was so calm up there that we fed our baby, changed his diaper, and completed all baby duties peacefully. All right, this baby woke up at the perfect timing for a diaper change. We were sitting there in the little, um, What's it what's it called? Bench. Yeah. A what? Bench. Bench. Now we're gonna go do the last set of stairs and see what's up there. You can't miss this adventure if you come to Vigo. We went back to the hotel to get ready for dinner. And since there are so many sushi places in town and I know Galicia has delightful seafood, we picked a sushi place to celebrate Nick's birthday and we didn't regret it. However, Troy decided to be awake for most of our dinner, so our soup got cold and we ate in a rush, but the food was very good. All of the ingredients tasted fresh and of quality. We ordered around, I don't know, eight different rolls. I would say they're a bit too small for my preference, definitely smaller than the average size roll, but the flavor was really good. I even overheard locals saying that this was on their top favorite restaurants in Vigo. Oh, and in case you're curious about prices, here you go. I think it was very affordable. On day three, we decided to adventure out of Vigo just to get a wider taste of Galicia. And I kind of regret it because Vigo is just so my style and I wish I would have seen more. But, but that doesn't mean that we didn't have a lot of fun with spectacular views of the ocean in this new city. And honestly, Galicia is so beautiful that it's worth traveling around the region. Anyways, guess where we went? One of the favorite cities of all Gallegos, the municipality of Galicia, La Coruña. Next video coming up soon, don't miss it. Thank you for watching. He's awake. Hey, baby. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs>